I remember I was praying one time and I was praying in tongues and the Lord spoke to something to my heart and I thought, me? That's there? And, he, and it was. I had to get rid of it. It made a whole difference. So we were not by ourselves. The Holy Spirit will work through us. Yeah, I want to talk to you about, in this study, even more basically, I want you to go back to the source of the document of our faith, which is this is the document. Yes. You got to believe what this word says. Yes, right? amen. The Bible is more. Is, the Bible is no mere book. It's a living document. Yes. It's the only book that trans transfers life yes. into an individual. Right. It's mm -hmm. the only book that can bring life into your heart. And the beauty of it is, is you, you start with your foundation. You start building a foundation. You start building a foundation. Here you go. Now, the Bible is, it's, so you're seeing, it, it's, it's a living document. You might say it's a living force. The Bible is a living force. This is the only book that can give life. Mm -hmm. Yes. But if you don't read it, it won't break life. Right. Mm -hmm. You can set it on your table. You can put it in the, anywhere you want to in your house. It'll never bring life to you no. until you start reading it. True. I would ask you this morning, how many of you, you don't have to answer this, but in your own heart, how many of you have a daily Bible reading program in your life? Right. How many of you take time to read God's Word? Or how many of you go to the Word when you're in trouble? Most of the time, we call a pastor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, we call a prayer witness. We don't go to the Word. Did you know that you have enough power? If you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, and you're, you're keeping it alive in your heart, you have enough power to, to overcome the powers of the adversary. Amen. Amen. You have enough power to overcome yes. Satan, overcome anything that comes in your life. For greater is he that's within us than he that's yeah. in the world. Yeah. I can do all things through all Christ things. with faith. If God be for us, who can be against us? See, you got those are the things you have to learn. You have to learn to speak God's word. And we'll get to that in just a moment. So here, you might say it's a living force. It is. We call it the Word of God, because in it, God is speaking to us. Yeah. Right. He speaks to me. He speaks to me. You know, in, in, in a way, the living Word is, is what audacious faith is all about. Praying, you know, we, we found a book some, a year or so ago. It was titled, uh, Sun Stand Still. What a book. And we began to read it, and this, this man, he, he left his hometown, moved to the city in, in the Carolinas, started a church, he's running about 25,000 people. There. I read a document from his page, he said they were going to have, they wanted to baptize over 3,000 people on one day and Sunday. They baptized over 3,000 people on one day and Sunday. Amazing. It's happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. There's no need for us to sit here on our haunches yeah. and wish for it mm -hmm. and ask God for it and not get on our feet and demonstrate it. Yeah. It's important for us. Amen. To do it. Yeah. Amen. Wow. And if you ever come to the place where you want to pray a prayer like Joshua prayed, sun stand still, you're going to have to learn what Joshua learned. All right. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to learn that the foundational process that Joshua learned. So, the Bible describes the process of faith formation. One of the in, intri intricately, in, it involves the word at every step. Hearing the word. Everybody said it again. Hearing, hearing the, word the word activates faith. Yeah. Hearing the word activates yeah. faith. When you hear the word, you just hear the word. Listen. By his stripes I am healed. What does that say? That Jesus bore that whiplashing yes. so I could have yeah. healing. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. Jesus bore that whiplashing so I could have healing. Yeah. And, and so I have to recognize that by this I have healing. By his stripes I have healing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't say I've got the flu. Right. I don't say I've got a cold. I don't say I'm sick. 
I don't say I have a headache. I say I'm fighting a headache. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting a <laughs> I speak positive affirmations to myself. We're going to get to that a little bit now. Um, so we're, we're seeing the word initiates, speaking the word, hearing the word initiates, speaking the word activates, <coughs> doing the word demonstrates. Let's break it down. <coughs> hearing the word <coughs> initiates faith. Faith comes from hearing the message. And the message is heard through the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Hear me. You need, to, you need to have ears to hear. Yes. Mm -hmm. You need to start praying, God, give me ears to hear. God, give me ears to hear your Word. We hear all the other trashes in the world. We need to have ears to hear all the right. Word of God. Amen. And while you're reading the Word of God, it's beautiful because I have read, Laura and I have read the Bible through for many years now. And uh, every time we read it, there's, we find something new, and yet it's old. It's been there all the time. We read it before. But there's something about God that when we allow our ears to be open to what His Word is saying, He speaks to us through the Word. And when He speaks to us through the Word, it catches our spirit. Here's your problem. Here's me, most people's problem. They, they, they want to read. They want to know things about God, but they don't understand that they're the ones that have to put the feet All right. to the Word. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of dumb things. Yeah. And we get ourselves in a lot of a heap of trouble because we don't believe the Word of God like we think we believe. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Faith comes from hearing the message. There is only one place that you can acquire faith. You've got to go to the Word of God. You've got to go to the Word of God. You've got to go there. If you want to acquire faith, you see, everybody has been given a measure of faith. Mm -hmm. But in order for us to be in the work into the supernatural of what God really wants of us, we have to begin to build on the Word. Yeah. This is the thing about the Word. Once you add, add faith to the Word, it's as though God Himself is speaking the Word through you. Catch that? Yeah. It's not you anymore. You're not alone. If you have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, you've spoken out of the tongues of the Spirit of God, you've utterance, and it's alive, and you're not just trying to drain it down and stuff it down and not use it, then you're not going to hear. Right. But if it's alive in your heart, and you begin to read the Word, it's going to come alive. I can remember reading, we, Laura and I talk about every every so often, we, we get a new passage, uh, it's old passage, but it's new. I, I never saw this before. Listen to this. Catch this. And we share back and forth, because there's something about the Word, it, the Word of God is, is the foundation for us. It's in the pages of the Scripture. Your faith becomes comes to you as you read the Scripture. It's Amen. in the pages of the scripture as God promises becomes personal to you your faith potential is ignited it's set afire and and I think we we sing the songs about doing it but we don't do it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we're, our faith wow. hasn't built been built very properly What amazing. Yeah.